Hello everybody, Sean here, and today we are looking at possibly the most tragic fight in Dark Souls 2 versus the good king, Vendrick, found after you fight Velstat. You don't have to fight Vendrick, he generally will leave you alone, but if you insist on pestering him by poking him repeatedly with your weapons, he will eventually engage you, and it is quite the fight. And like I said, it's a really, it's a really strange fight indeed, because you spend so much time looking for the king, trying to find the king, and when you find him, he's gone absolutely crazy, and he simply ignores the player, has no interest in the player, has no interest in anything other than just protecting what seems to be his ring, maybe his last his last piece of power, who knows. But, to actually fight the king, it's a very straightforward fight. Uh, I guess when he lost his mind, he also lost the ability to fight, so his only primary attacks are an overhead chop and a horizontal chop. Now, if he if you're standing in front of him and he hits you with it, he will chain it together into a two, possibly three hit combo. However, if you're constantly standing behind him like you see me doing, then he will generally only swing once, and when he misses, he won't bother following it up. On very rare occasions, very, very rare occasions, and only if you're at a range distance, he will cast a Dark Orb style attack, but you don't want to fight this guy at range, so stand where I am and you'll never even see that attack. Now, you will have noticed a jump cut there, because the one thing about this boss is he has a lot of health, and there's also a secret mechanic. If you have the Souls of the Lost Giants, you have to get those. You have to go into the memories of the four giants and get their souls. You don't consume them, you just have to have them in your inventory. Each one of those counts as kind of a damage modifier on Vendrick. And if you only have two of them, you're only going to do 50% damage. If you have three, 75, so on and so forth. So make sure you get all four souls of the giants from their memories before you do that fight, or else you're going to be hitting Vendrick for like five damage, and you're not going to get anywhere. But there you go, pretty straightforward fight. I hope this helps you out. It's really sad that you actually ha can kill him. Uh, and he seems to drop nothing, or does he? But uh, I thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next time.